All right, so I've made a couple of attempts at uh, a printed circuit board uh, tone transfer, and I wasn't very happy with the results. As you can see there, there's a lot of imperfections um, on this board. And I was using uh, paper, uh, gloss, uh, glossy paper on a laser jet printer. Um, and then I was using the hot iron method and that wasn't very successful. I, I wasn't too happy with the way this came up. So what I'm going to attempt is to use a uh, uh, different method. Uh, this is called a photo resist method, I believe, or photosensitive, uh, it's photosensitive PCB board. It comes packaged like so. And um, basically what we have is we printed the same circuit onto a transparent paper. And the idea is we lay that over the PCB that has a photosensitive coating on it. We turn on the power source, the light source like so, leave it on there for about five minutes. Uh, then we go ahead and we have to use a developer. Once we do that, then we go to the next stage, which is we clean the developer off of the board and and then we use the uh, PCB etching, etching solution. Now, um, if you want to have a copy of this uh, sketch, uh, you guys can find this at uh, opensourceenergy.org. The guys over there are great. They, um, it's all open source. This is a replica for uh, Stan Meyer's uh, pulse generator. And it's neat because you can download the uh, the drawings onto the program and basically you can add to it You can delete some things you can alter it. You can do pretty much uh, Whatever ideas you have on it. So I'd like to uh, Try and see if uh, we can make this work and get a little better than this last attempt You can see all the imperfections in there All right, so Let's try it out, see what happens. Got an infrared light there. Turn the main power source off.
Alright, so it's been running for five minutes. Went ahead and uh, according to the instructions on the developer, that it's uh, one part diluted developer with ten parts of cold water. So I went ahead and did that. Using this thing. So we're going to go ahead and pour that on there. off So the idea is to agitate it. You can start seeing a little bit of the... Wow, I'm liking it already. So we keep doing this till all the material comes off of it. You can see it coming out. And then uh, we're supposed to rinse it right away with uh, water. So, I will do that and get back to you. So now the board has been fully developed. This process is a lot nicer, a lot cleaner, sharp edges, a little bit more professional. So now we're going to go ahead and etch the board. So we got the etching solution. The tray. Here it is. So, instructions say about 20 minutes. Every once in a while, I'll come back and swash it. Right away, you can see the uh, starting to eat at the board. Yep. Right. So I'll come back and check on it a couple minutes from now. Okay, so I'd like to show you a brief view of the setup. Uh, just a basic overview. So here we have the light. Now the light source is a standard 60 watt bulb. There it is. And it worked fine. I didn't have to get a special UV fluorescent fixture or any of that stuff. The uh, picture frame is very handy because you can use the glass to hold down the transparent paper and uh, well the transparent paper is where we would print using the computer our circuit design. Uh, I find this method of uh, light uh, a lot more efficient and uh, easier than the uh, other method that I used before that's the um, using a hot iron <clears throat> uh, I guess they call it a heat tone transfer if I'm not mistaken 
Um, what's the difference? Well, the difference, you can see it here. This is the old method. You can see a lot of imperfections in there. And this is the new method using using this uh, light source method. So basically what you need, uh, the only difference is you're going to need something like this. Uh, find these online. Unfortunately, Radio Shack doesn't carry this kind of stuff anymore. I remember back in the days when I was in high school, you can actually buy this uh, boards that are pre-sensitized. Pre uh, it's not the case anymore. So a quick Google search will yield a good amount of results in this that you can purchase. So it comes in this this bag that's protected from light. So once you're ready to expose this, uh, I was working pretty much in the dark and using uh, infrared light and that worked out fine. I could see what I was doing and uh, I was able to place all the stuff here. <clears throat> so once that happened, we turned the light on. The light, I, I left it on for, uh, how long did I leave it on? I left it on for eight minutes and it developed, it, it did the transfer fine. You, once you take it out, you can't see it physically on the board, but once you put it in the development solution, uh, it starts coming out. Now, <clears throat> so this is what I use, positive developer. Now, a word of caution. I went through uh, <clears throat> one board uh, before I figured out how to use this. So this, uh, they recommend a dilute one part the developer with 10 parts of cold water. <clears throat> so I went ahead and did that. When you put the board in there, you got to keep an eye on your board. If you leave it for too long of a period of time, it would eat right through the traces. If you leave it if you don't leave it long enough, then obviously you're going to have parts uh, that are still there that you don't want there. So my first try, basically what happened was I ate right through the whole thing. As you can see here, nothing was left. I left it for way too long. And then on this try that I did now, I was afraid that I was going to leave it on for too long. And I, I was a little uh, hesitant and I took it out prematurely. And you can see here and there and these corners um, where some of that st uh, stuff was still on there it didn't develop because there it is see now it's fortunate that that section i'm going to end up cutting out with a dremel but as far as the uh, traces themselves i think they're in pretty good shape so that was just a word of caution there if this is your first time Attempting this. Read all instructions before and wear your safety goggles and uh, all safety PPE gear. Pro proper protective equipment. All right, having said that, uh, we go from this solution, you rinse it in water, and after you're done with that, then you put it in the PCB etchant solution. Now, the PCB, um, they, they had that already, Shaq, this PCB etchant solution. I'm sure you can find that online different sources. This stuff is uh, highly corrosive. Um, so be very careful. So <clears throat> there it is once again. Show you one more shot. Now, I haven't sanded down uh, this uh, layer because I want the copper to be protected till the day I'm ready to go ahead and start drilling. So uh, when, that time, when that time comes, I'll go ahead and uh, uh, post and update you guys on the development. Thank you.